In this video, I'm going to demonstrate connecting an Arduino to SensorMonkey. Arduinos are small, open source, electronics prototyping platforms that typically connect over USB. For this demonstration, I'm using an Arduino Uno of the kind shown here. I have followed the Getting Started guide on the main Arduino website and have downloaded and installed the Arduino development environment. I have attached the Arduino to my computer using a standard USB cable. In my case, the Arduino is connected over COM port 8, as shown in the Windows Device Manager. I have attached a potentiometer to ADC pin 0 of the Arduino, as described in the Analog Read Serial tutorial on the main Arduino website. The potentiometer provides a 10-bit A to D sample ranging in value from 0 to 1023 inclusive. To sample data from the potentiometer at regular intervals, I must write a simple sketch and upload it to the Arduino's microcontroller. The sketch is written using the Arduino development environment. As you can see, the first thing I do is open the serial port. In the main processing loop, I sample the potentiometer. Each sample has a 10-bit resolution, so I extract the most significant byte, or MSB, followed by the least significant byte, or LSB, and store them in separate byte variables. In order to send the data over the serial port, I need to ensure that it is properly encoded so that it can be read by the web-based SensorMonkey control panel. To do this, I transmit each sample as a 16-bit unsigned integer in Big Endian format by writing the MSB, followed by the LSB, to the serial port. Note that I am using write and not print or print LN here because I do not want new line characters to be interspersed with the data stream. I only want the raw binary data. Finally, I have added a delay of 20 milliseconds at the end of the main processing loop to give me a sampling rate of approximately 50 Hz. With the sketch ready to go, I click the upload button and wait for it to be compiled and uploaded to the Arduino's onboard microcontroller. This process takes a short amount of time to complete. The Arduino is now ready, but before I can connect it to SensorMonkey, I need to map the serial port to a TCP IP port. Doing so will network enable the device and allow me to connect to it from the web-based SensorMonkey control panel. I use Bloom to perform the mapping. You can download the Bloom installation file from the SensorMonkey support page. Once downloaded, double click the file to install it. Once installed, you can run the program from the Windows Start menu. First, I select the serial port assigned to the Arduino. In this case, COM8. Next, I'm going to map this to TCP IP port 20000. Finally, I'm going to increase the polling frequency from 10 Hz to 50 Hz to match the sampling rate of the Arduino's sketch. The rest of the settings can be left as they are. I can then listen for incoming connections by pressing Start. The Arduino has now been configured and is ready to be connected to SensorMonkey. That concludes part one of this tutorial. To access the web-based control panel, go to the SensorMonkey homepage and log in with your Facebook account. Once logged in, 
You can access your control panel through the Sensors link at the top of the page. To connect the Arduino, I'm going to add an entry for it named My Arduino. From here, I must specify the IP address and port number where the device can be found. Recall from part 1 that I am using Bloom to map the Arduino's serial port to TCP IP port 20,000, so I enter a port number of 20,000. I can leave the IP address unchanged because Bloom is running on my local machine. If Bloom was running on another machine connected over a local area network, for example, then I would enter the IP address of that machine instead. I also need to specify a format description file that tells SensorMonkey how to parse and interpret the data being sent by the Arduino. In part 1, I detailed the sketch used to sample the potentiometer that was compiled and uploaded to the Arduino's microcontroller using the development environment. Each sample is sent as a 16-bit unsigned integer in Big Endian format. I need to modify the default format description file shown here to match the incoming data from the Arduino. As you can see, the expected format of the data is already set to Big Endian. All I need to modify is the type of the variable to match the type of the potentiometer samples sent by the Arduino. To do so, I change the variable's type attribute from U8 to U16. I'm also going to give the variable a more descriptive name of potentiometer. These modifications are all that's required to enable the SensorMonkey control panel to parse the data from the Arduino. Once parsed, the data is made available on the Stream tab to view locally or publish live over the internet. For more complicated Arduino sketches, you will likely find yourself defining multiple variables to represent many different channels of data. You can find more information on the SensorMonkey support page. I'm now going to click Connect. Once connected, the grid shows an updated connection status for the Arduino. I can also verify the connection using Bloom. The program should show a connection icon and a message detailing the address from which the connection was accepted. I can also see the number of bytes now being transmitted by the Arduino over the TCP IP port. By selecting the Stream tab, I can visualize the incoming potentiometer samples by clicking the graph icon to the right. I can also turn on the real-time grid to get live updates as the data is parsed from the Arduino. To publish data live over the internet, I select the potentiometer variable, as well as a stream type, and click the Publish button. If I navigate to the Remote Sensors tab, I can see my Arduino listed under the public streams. I can select the stream and click Subscribe to begin receiving real-time potentiometer updates from the Arduino. I can turn on the real-time grid or I can view the output over time.
That concludes the final part of this tutorial demonstrating how to connect an Arduino to Sensor Monkey. My potentiometer is streaming live over the internet and I can log into my control panel and view the data from any device connected to the web. Thank you for watching.